Godinez in the blue, in the blue corner. Brooks in the red corner. I love this. This is two body, completely different body yep. structures. You've got Godinez, who's got a very sh short muscles, stocky. You can tell he packs a lot of power. And then you've got a long, lanky Brooks, who's very lean. Throwing big shots right now to start off this round one. Godinez. Godinez has got the right thing in mind. He's catching kicks to get inside, and that is a, a great strategy against a very long opponent who's not setting up his shots as he throws these kicks. Beautiful overhand right here by Godinez multiple times. Yeah, Godinez is like, here, throw the first kick. Let me take it. Let me kick it, catch it, and I'm throwing. Exactly. Boom, big shot right here. There you go. Brooks is making an adjustment. He's not throwing round kicks. He's throwing teeps straight down the middle, and that's what he's going to need to do if he wants to create some range with his legs. But he's getting caught with big overhands. Beautiful knee right there, inside knee there by Godinez. Got him in his corner. Listening to his coach. Ref Larry Downs breaks it up. Brilliant opening first minute for Godinez. It is. Let's see if Brooks can weather the storm. And, and you, you've, you, know, you can tell that he's ferocious and overly aggressive. But that could be to his own detriment. And um, if Brooks can weather the storm, he can really kind of put some things together here, create the space that he needs to really make something happen. Godina seems like he wants to be the counter. There he goes, catches it. Boom, big overhand right. The problems that Brooks is doing is he's turning and he's looking away. And you, when you look away like that, you cannot see what strikes are coming. You cannot defend yourself properly. And that is a very natural reaction when, right. when you're getting bombs thrown at you, is to turn away. Right. Big shots here by Godinez to end round, end round one. Ooh, Godinez with a little... Uh, Confidence, yeah, a little, I love how it. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Great first round in the blue corner for Godinez. Brooks is trying to walk it off. Brooks can, can stop that forward pressure by post, by just putting his arm out there, tucking his chin, making sure that his shoulder's protecting his chin, and just and creating a little bit of space here. You see how he, he has no guard. He has no... Um, defense. Nope. Def defense is, is, is absolutely... But I'm trying <laughs> to think of what's the word? Frames. He has no frames. So he's not protected at all. Right, right. And he could stop that with a simple post on the shoulder, a post on the face even. Just put your hand out there like a jab, and that would help him alleviate that forward momentum. And Godinez is doing a fantastic job, does not respect any of Brooks' kicks or strikes and just coming right through them. Also, I would love to see Brooks throw a kick and then have something else right behind it because right. that's where you know Brooks starts to open up. The problem is he's throwing a lot of roundhouses, so you have to right, get your right. foot to the mat before you can throw the next strike. The teeps are going to do much better for him in this fight. Godinez just has too much forward pressure. He slowed down a little bit, though. But he's doing such a great job of catching kicks to get inside. Good knee right there by Godinez. Oh, nice knee by Brooks. Action oh. right in front of us. Godinez with monster lefts. Yes. Another knee to the body. Brooks has to move. He has to get off the, the ring. Ref Larry Downs letting them go. Beautiful shots by Godinez. Brooks does not have, there's the jab. He needs to establish a jab in a right hand. And that will keep Godinez at a much better range than this range here, because this range is obviously only working for Godinez. Yeah, this is where he wants to be. He wants to be in the telephone booth. And Godinez is doing such a great job moving forward. He's, but he's stuffing a lot of his range. You can tell he has a lot of power. But he's getting in so tight. You see that big shot? Yeah. Part of that shot was, was not necessarily Brooks throwing that, but, but Godinez throwing so hard and, and big. See, he does such a great job when he gets inside and lands these big shots. But then he gets so close right here that he can't throw anymore. Beautiful knee in there again by Godinez. 
catches the kick once again. He, he's got like 75%. The catch counter is fire for Goldinas. He's, re he's really learning and honing that skill tonight. 10 seconds left to round number two. Ooh, two big right hands. Looks like another strong round again for the blue corner, Godinez. I'm not gonna lie to you, I like kinda, Godinez has a little little swag. He has that little, <laughs> little something. And I, I like it, I'm a fan of it. You learn how to gain confidence after you lose confidence. You learn how to reset your mind. I mean, there's so many things going on aside from the physical aspect, the physical, technical aspect of the fight game. There's so many mental pieces to this puzzle. Absolutely. It, in, in multiple fights, you can have a dominant first round. You can have an okay first round. You can have a 50-50 first round. You never know. You have to different options every single time. But you feel it. As yeah, a fighter, you right, feel what's right. happening in this fight. And, and you feel if your opponent has more forward momentum or forward pressure, has more Ooh. confidence, that would have been a nice head kick had it have landed. Inch. An inch. <laughs> Brooks definitely seems like he has a little bit more pop and a little bit more energy here to start round three. He's, he's got to throw straight. He'll land so much more if he throws straight. And he'd have a lot much. He'd have a lot more success with his his kicks if he throws a jab first. If he throws a, an actual punch right before that kick sets it up, is the better is the better phrase. This is where Brooks cannot be in when Godinas kind of has him against the ropes and in this clinch and in the telephone booth. This is where Godinas just takes huge advantage. He's like a wet blanket tonight. I mean, he's doing a fantastic job of forward pressure and momentum. And I like that in these later rounds, he's taking a step back. You can tell he's, he's figuring out his range. Ooh, nice little one-two there by Brooks. Big counter right by Godinas. There it is again. Godinas is putting the expiration point on this fight. He's doing a fantastic job here at countering. He, he's just had a great counter game tonight. Ooh, finally nails the head kick. <laughs> Godinas just shakes it off. Nice one, too. Catches the kick once again. Ten seconds left of this fight. Round three, this kickbox in action. Nice one, too, there to end the fight for Godinas. Great fight, great fight. What, what an opportunity for both of these gentlemen to, you know, at this point in their career, it, it's not so important to win or lose. What's more important, what takes precedence in these moments in their career is that you walk out of this ring better. You learn something about yourself. You figure out a skill. You overcome something in these fights, and that is more, it takes far more precedence in this, at this stage in your career than, than a win or a loss. It, it doesn't mean anything, right. the wins or the losses. You've got to learn. You've got to grow in here. And what a fantastic night for, for both of these gentlemen to, to come in and have to deal with real, with real challenges in there. Because as soon as one or both these men do turn pro, this, uh, this night turns to 0-0. Zero, zero. Absolutely. And this is experience. This is experience that they get to keep for themselves, that they can take for the rest of their life and the rest of their career. All right, guys, we will see the verdict of the kickbox match. Godinas in the blue, Brooks in the red, Christopher James with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for both these young men inside the ring? What a scrap.
After three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the ballot identically. 30-27 for your winner. By unanimous decision, from the blue corner, Alexander Go.